Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explain in detail on MCQ on drilling machines. So this is our session number 6. So if you want to prepare for GET examination, UPSC examination, GPSC kind of examinations or you can say all government examinations so first of all you will subscribe my channel and that is Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials for daily new objective kind of videos so now we will start with our first question which of the following is most commonly used tool option A single fluid drill option B two fluid drill option C 3 or 4 fluid drill and option D none of the mentions so basically for in general purpose using of drills or you can say commonly used and that will be 2 fluid drill so that will be having a good accuracy with uh, quick to removing the metals from the materials so option B 2 fluid drill is being commonly used then next question which of the following is rarely used so option a single fluid option b two fluid drill option c three or four fluid drill and option d none of the mansions so basically rarely used so that will be for normal kind of work so that will be requirement of less amount of force and no any kind of or can say less accuracy so you can use single fluid drill so the option A single fluid drill so as compared to two fluid drill that will be having a less applications in the field of drilling operations so most commonly in first question that will be the two fluid and rarely used that will be the single fluid the next question which of the following is the example of single fluid drill option a deep hole drill option b crank shaft hole drill option c both deep hole drill and crank shaft hole drill and option d none of the mansion so basically single fluid drill that will be used for deep hole drill and you can say that crankshaft hole drill so basically for the higher L by D ratio generally single fluid drill it will be used so for deep hole drill that will be the higher L by D ratio and for crankshaft hole drill that will be also higher L by D ratio so single for fluid drill generally that will be used so according to these questions both deep hole drill and crankshaft hole drill is the example of single fluid drill so the answer C then we will see the next question which of the following is also known as slot drill option a single fluid drill option b two fluid drill option c three or four fluid drill and option d none of the mansions so basically for making a slot by the drilling generally three or four fluid drills is being used so you can easily make the slots with the help of drill so according to these questions option c three or four fluid drill is being used for slot or you can say three or four fluid drill is also known as slot drill the next question gun drill is the example of option a single fluid drill option b two fluid drill option c three or four fluid drill and option d none of the above so as already we discussing into question number three if that will be the higher l by d ratio you can say length to diameter ratio that will be a deep drill machine 
so for gun rail which is also having a higher l by d ratio so you can use a single fluid drill for that performing a deep hole drill or you can say for manufacturing of gun drill so for gun drill is the example of single fluid drill so we already discussing into question number 3 then next question for cutting ductile material with long chip which helix angle is necessary option a small helix angle option b moderate helix angle option c long helix angle and option d none of the mentions so for cutting a ductile materials so generally that will be uh, depends upon the which kind of material is to be a uh, cut with long chip so for long chips basically long helix angle is being necessary so according to these questions option c long helix angle then next question for hard materials which helix angle is used option a small option b large option c zero and option d none of the mentions so as we already discussed for ductile materials for long chips that will be the long helix angle is being used now this question is related with the hard materials or you can say for brittle materials so generally for brittle materials smaller helix angle is being adopted so you can easily cut the materials so small so a option a then next question if we increase the helix angle the strength of drill will be option a increase option b decreases option c not affected and option d none of the mentions so basically the relation of helix angle and strength of the drill that will be inversely proportional so if you are increasing the helix angle so the strength of the drill will be decreases so option b so both are to inversely proportional if you want to increase the strength so you have to decrease the helix angle so according to that relationships then discussing with the next question if l by d or you can say length to diameter ratio is too large then drill becomes option a weak option b strong option c very sharp and option d none of the mansions so just you can see for l by d ratio so just you can see this is our tool and that is our length of the tool and this is our diameter so for l by d that will be large so if that will be the length is larger than the diameters so all that particular drill bits it becomes weaker so that will be easily break at the center of that particular drills so according to that questions if that will be having a l by d ratio is too large so for large l or you can say length of the drills so it becomes weak so here that will be the option a so generally such kind of higher l by d ratio it will be used for making a deep hole then next question for general purpose length to diameter ratio should be option a 5 to 10 option b 10 to 20 option c more than 20 and option d none of the mentions so that will be the capacity of the l by d ratio you can say for performing a deep drill holes so for general purpose l by d ratio should be in between 5 to 10 so the option a 
5 to 10 is being adopted so if you want to learn some more details so you will subscribe my channel so subscribe like and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching